So question for you, do you ask yourself, am I raising a psycho? Why is my kid so crazy, mean, angry? Does your kid ever tell you, I don't love you, mommy? Does that ever happen? Because it happens to me all the time. And I am the best mother on the face of the earth, yet my son seems to have meltdown, breakdowns, like episodes where his head should be spinning in a 360 and he should be vomiting green stuff. Okay, I don't want to hit this kid, because I can. I want to beat the crap out of him. But I don't think that will work. Timeouts, I don't think that'll work either. What can I do? What can you do to grow or raise a good kid? Well, I don't know how I found the company. Google might have picked up on me saying, why is my son psychotic? And boom, I found their ad. It's called Generation Mind. It's a mom, a therapist that has created this amazing program to help your kids handle their emotions. Before you move on and say, this girl's whack, I'm not doing this, you need to have a, you need to be in the right mind state to do this. You need to be that extra mom that's willing to do a little bit more, a little bit something out of the box to try and, you know, fix or help your child, which is what I wanted to do. In a nutshell, we're eliminating timeouts. No more timeout corners, I'm not beating the crap out of my kid or making them feel worthless or useless because that's what happens. At the end of the day, my son's four, right? At four years old, I don't expect him to hear the word no and say, no problem, mommy. I'll go back to writing and practicing my numbers. That's not going to happen. It's never going to happen. So I needed to figure out a way, how can I reach my four-year-old before he gets into that psycho mode and help him switch his mind state? And this is what I found. This is my extra... Calming corner. This corner has kind of changed the game for us. My son has a temper tantrum. He's doing something. He hits his sister. He does something stupid. I want to kill him. I say, go to your calming corner now. I know that sounds funny to maybe old school Italian parents, but it works. My son comes in here. He figures out his emotion and he figures out a way to handle it. I gave him the best crafts and things to do while he's in this corner. I'll share everything with you. And it changes his mindset. And in five minutes, my son comes out and goes, I'm better now. What? Why wouldn't you do that? I'm not saying it's going to work like that every single time because it doesn't. But this is our common corner. It's extra AF because that's the type of mom that I am. This is it an entire kit? I bought it. It's called the time the time and tool kit. I think it was like 60 bucks. It comes with everything here except like the extra stuff, like the picture frames and all the activities you can build. But I will show you what we do. Okay, so the first thing he does is he figures out what his emotions of what emotion he's feeling. My son can't read, so these pictures are great because he could show their emotions. He picks his card from the list. I bought this black thing. All the links to everything that I bought are going to be below. And then he comes over here and this kind of tells him what he needs to do. Kids love routine. Love, love, love routine. So my son loved, you know, the idea of coming in here and doing something the same every time. It says get comfy. Set a timer. So I bought him a timer. It's five minutes. He flips it. And then afterwards, he figures out the tool, what he wants to do in these five minutes. Okay, so these are some of the activities that I made for Dominic to do while he's here. Um, these are really cool. These are actually his favorite thing to do. I bought about a thousand sight words, and then I cut each one out, and I bought these little pipeline things that you stick, and you just like wrap it around and twist it. It's listed at in my Pinterest board. I bought beads that go along with it and he's got to find the matching letter with the word and just slide it onto the pipeline. This is actually one of his favorite things to do. Um, the next, this is like a sensory kit. So sometimes if he doesn't want to do something, maybe he just wants to feel something. So I bought this kit off of Amazon. It comes with this stress ball. This slides up and down their wrists. It's got the spikes on it. So it's a cool sensation. This is a this is all it does. It goes up and down on your wrist, on your finger. It's just really cool things that he could play with. This is putty that when he squeezes it really hard, it changes color. A wrist bracelet. This is all part of his like sensory kit. 
Um, then one other activity that he likes to do <clears throat> is scissor cutting. So I got majority of this stuff I got off of Amazon. So this is a cool book. He can cut um, all different pictures using a kid-friendly scissor. That's what he likes to do with that. These are really cool. This is um, for Play-Doh. They're Play-Doh mats. So I put a certain amount of Play-Doh. I didn't get it too cray-cray. And he can decorate. Let me see if I can find the card. He can decorate all of these plain Play-Doh mats to whatever he wants. I'm not sure where it is. Anyway, it's, a, it's like a little activity board. He just can... Like put little decorations on it, put ornaments on the Christmas tree using the Play-Doh. And then I have your um, more cut and paste. I got coloring books. So these are just a few of the activities that I have out for Dominic to do while he's sitting in the corner trying to figure out or just calm down pretty much. So this is what works for us. You do not need to get picture frames. You can stick everything on a wall with tape. Um, just buy the kit. You educate yourself on how to use it the way you guys want to use it. There's some really cool tips in there. There's some cool things you can say. Your language, even when you change your language to don't do that, you know it's not right, to you know when you do that it upsets mommy, it makes mommy feel sad. And it changes. You all go through it. I know you do. And um, this is something really cool that may help you. So I'm going to put in next a video of my son using the corner and to show you how excited he is um, about using it. This is. So you pick a card first and then and, and then you get comfy and, and, and you get something and then you sit on this and then and then um, you do the timer and then um then um then you make one of these. So what is this called? What is this area called? Oh, it's called, um, Come uh -huh. Corner. Very good. So you come in here when? Um, when I get mad. Mad like, or like frustrated. All these, are these all, all these. what are these, what are those all called? Fear? Fear. So just so you know, I was not paid to do this. I'm not that good yet. Um, I bought the kit myself and I just wanted to make you guys aware of it. Um, however, if you do purchase anything, just use the link that I provided below because I can actually get a kickback and get points towards buying other stuff with this program. So having said that, I really, really, really Hope you guys don't get discouraged. Um, I hope you think of this as like a really cool thing to add to your family lifestyle. We put it at our dinner table. We talk about emotions at our, uh, whatever we can. Um, it may not sound conventional to you, but it's 2020 and let's face it, there's a lot of shit that goes on today that didn't go on. Um, forget about our parents' days, but our days too. So anyway, I hope it helps. If, if you have any questions, just let me know and have a fantastic day, guys. Bye.